Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Adlington Patreon server. It's been a while since I've been here. Oh, that's Moose. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been here. Um, and I don't really know all that's changed. So let's have a wander around. Uh, so this is, um, is it Billy Bob? I think Billy Bob is building this village, I think. No. It's a uh, floating shopping list, or I epidemic. He's still floating shopping list to me. He's building this village thing here. Okay, that's um, Lilyberry's house. Jesus. <laughs> this is the iron farm, presumably? What? Oh, what has happened? Come and see the iron titan. What? What is this? That's so many hoppers! Wow! Wow! That... Wow! Okay. Um... So I guess... Is it like a super crazy... It must be some kind of super, super duper really good iron farm. I love gifts. Okay, so some kind of super crazy iron farm, right. That is bringing... I don't even know what the item elevator's for. Why Why would the item elevator... Or the... the, the this guy here exist. I thought it would be to carry villagers up, but... Oh. There's a portal involved too. I don't... I don't even begin to comprehend what's going on here. This... Okay, so that thing takes a minecart up, breaks the minecart, sends it back down to presumably that dropper. But for why? Is there a lot of iron in here? There's a little bit. You don't have any on the other side, though. I guess one side fills up. Huh. That... Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, I still got the um, command blocks here, just doing nothing. Um, got a moose pen. <laughs> uh, got the jail here, here still. More moose. More moose. Uh it's been a long time. Like a, you know got blah 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 blah. As you guys know I've been moving, so it's been a while since I've been here. Uh this is a minion construction company coming along nicely. I think Pirates of the Caribbean still playing here. Yeah. Okay, now we've got some tunes. Uh this is that clucking clucking berry. Clucking bell. Chicken berry, that's the one. Um, the casino, which is going to happen. <laughs> I wanted to work on it today, but I realized I haven't seen anything here. Uh, so I'm probably going to work on that tonight, and it'll be ready for next week, hopefully. Uh, nothing else has really changed around this end of town, I don't think. That's a town hall. Um, is there any messages? Ads. I put a set up of... Ads I put a set up of the redstone that creates the magic in the lowest level of my house for you to see how it works. Oh, okay. So, where did he put it? Is it in the castle or in the house? Feel free to help clear space and add games. Add land. Add land! I like add land. That's nice. Okay, cool. Um. Did I? Is there a vote going on at the moment? No, okay. Yeah, I, for, I forget so many things. Uh, the patron service is one of the things that just kind of got left by the wayside a little bit. Because everything else, like moving is a hell of a job. I didn't expect how hard moving would be. This is the, uh, 
the museum, which is still being built by um, CS1. Okay. All right. That's Billy Bob. Um, okay, let's go to the castle, I guess, then. We've kind of looked at every, pretty much everything around town. Okay, hundreds of... Oh, there's a big moose. <laughs> uh, we missed you, so what better way to show that than bringing... Mar... Marsis? On the, to the server. Billy, Lily, and Drew. P.S. Sorry about the mess he made. He couldn't hold his excitement. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he made he made lots of poop. <laughs> oh man, there's so many moose. There are so many moose. Oh, it's Donald Z. Hello. Everybody's back. All my old friends. <laughs> oh, there's so many moves. Did these change? What's these? What these words kind of ads? I set up. Where is that? Hello. Everyone's saying hi all the time. Okay, I don't think anything else is different. The brothel. Okay, that's cool. Um. I think for now, the library has been turned off. I turned the library off, I think. It was creating a lag. Or, well, it wasn't creating lag, it was filling the log with, um, with nonsense. Whenever we wanted to try and, and fix it. So I think at the moment it is not functional. Which is absolutely fine. Um, but it's something I want to change later on. Maybe... I don't think there's any way to do it without command blocks, and the command blocks always post to the log, which is a pain. Let's go to look at his house, see if it's in his house. Go and see it in the castle. Do, do, do. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is Outland. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it's got fences and everything. This is like... This is less ad land and more ad camp. Military camp. Prisoner of war camp. Ad prison. <laughs> it looks very it looks very dystopian. It just needs some concrete building now. That's cool. Got uh, got ourselves an ad land. John stuff. Okay, I won't steal John stuff. Oh there's a door. The only door in Adland. Workers Cave. <laughs> okay, Atland right now is a terrible, terrible place. Oh, that, oh, that, that thing. Get out of that. Okay. Uh, what is this? Forty-two man, man-made cave. Okay, cool. You enjoy that. Um, I guess the magic is set up here. No. Where is the magic? Ads, I said it. Where is that? He didn't. He didn't say. Where is the magic? The magic no longer exists. Flip. Okay, I think we've pretty much looked at everything that's kind of new here. Basically, it's a ton of moose. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Oh, these are more... Oh, they were like a logging company! Oh, that's that's cool. <laughs> you parked inside a bush, though. You're not going to get out of that one. Look at that. He's trying to put the log on there. And then they're going to drive over to there and build it. That's really cool. I love that. That's attention to detail. That kind of stuff. Dude, Seth. Hello. Goodbye. Tunnels! Oh jeez, somebody just got shot. Everybody's here. Uh we stepped in on a little something here. Don't shoot me, bro. Oh hey, this has been covered up.
ads. Can you find me? Just a, okay. Uh, down is off. It is off. It is off. I think. It should be. Well, the briefing is off. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. So if I do that, it should definitely be off now. Should be off now. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I have missed so much stuff. Jesus. Um, so, I'm going to work on a couple of things. I'm hopefully going to work on the casino a little bit today. Because um, I know a lot of people have been wanting that. And I really want to get it set up too. Um, so, give me a second. And I shall be back then in that second. It's longer for me. Maybe a couple of hours. But for you... It'll be right about now. So, I got distracted. <laughs> um, this is the Guardian farm that Tunnel Z has been working on for a while. Uh, but me and uh, Graydon in Fertile Turtle, Graydon B, uh, we were doing um, a killing, a killing thing. Originally. Uh, Tunnel Z set it up with um, uh, lava. They, they would burn and die. But, unfortunately, uh, with the way Guardians work, they don't seem to drop anything but fish when, they, when, they are, when they're on fire. Uh, so, the lava wasn't working. We did put in a crusher. I'm getting some terrible frames. Why frames? Why you be like this? I've got no time today. We've got to. We've got to act right. Come on. Okay. So, um, yeah, we put in a crusher, which worked okay. A lot of stuff sprayed out because um, they're only like one block tall, right? So you have to block everything. So a lot of stuff sprayed out. Um, maybe we put them on half slabs or something that could work. I don't know. Anyway, we we went with this in the end. Uh, this, which is actually the same design over here, which we can get rid of now. Hi. Let's do a quick uh, fill. Uh, minus seven nine seven thirty two. Uh, minus one seven two five. Up to here. Uh, Eight oh five forty one minus one seven three three. Air. Boom. Nice. Okay, got rid of that. So yeah, there, this is a little spiral dropper doohickey. So the guardians fall in from here. They come in through the... Um, if I can find the glass. Where's the glass? Oh, there's no glass on this side. Oh, okay. The guardians uh, fall down through the water thing. You know how a guardian farm works. And they get funneled to that middle bit, which is a two-wide hole, or a two-by-two two hole. And then... They just drop down, and they go around, and they go around, and they go around, and they drop down, and they go around, they go around, they go around, and they drop down, and they go around, they go around, they go around, and they drop down. And it takes them about 15 drops, all in all, uh, because they have 15 hearts, they have 30 health, which is 15 hearts, to one heart is 2 health, uh, and then one, this drop takes one heart away. Uh, it's not. Some people say it's slow, uh, but it's not. It's not slow. It's killing them at a constant rate. It just takes a little bit of time for it to spool up. But once, once they're started going round, they'll start being killed constantly. Uh, so it's not particularly slow. It's also fun to watch, and it's super compact. Like it's only what maybe less than ten by ten by ten. It's super super compact. If you wanted to do a drop all the way down to bedrock then 
Or if you want to do a dropper, it would have to go all the way down to bedrock to kill them because they have so much health. Uh, so this just this just works, I think. I like this. If, uh, if it was a big dropper, it would be all the way down there too. The chest is right here. Um, just everything filters through, like the ink will come down through here too. Nothing will get stuck because there's hoppers under here all feeding back into this chest. Um, with a, it also doesn't use anything, like with a iron, you can also use iron golems to kill these guys. Uh, but then the iron golems would need replacing. Or you could use potions, but then the potions would need replacing. So this is, it's 100% efficient, it's compact, and it doesn't actually use anything. You can be completely AFK. I like this design. I think it's beautiful. And it's this, this is the kind of stuff I really want to start a single player series for. Because like... Uh, while I could build this on the Minecraft server, somebody would come along and do some efficient design, or whatever, and then I would have to find a temple and stuff, and then it'll be reset. I just like I like watching this thing, you know. I want this to be a screensaver. Look at it. It's going round and just bloop, 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 bloop. I just like it. I think it's fun to watch. I think it was fun design. Anyway, uh, just quickly before we end the episode warp messages, let us go look at what I did on the casino. I got half the ATM finished. Uh, the input works. The output is non-functional yet, but the input works. So this is the ATM right now. Uh, this is the input. This is where stuff goes in. So whenever something goes in, it will trigger the comparator here, which will trigger this line here. Uh, this line checks the item in the hopper. It checks um, if it's a 1 adpence coin or a 4 adpence coin, a 16, a 32, um, a 1 adbuck. There is 64 adpence in an adbuck, just, just FYI. Uh, then it goes 2 adbuck, uh, 5 adbuck, 10 adbuck, 50 adbuck, 100 adbuck. 20, 500, 1000, 2000, 5000 ad buck. I don't know how, like, we may need to add more to this, and that's fine, we can do that. I don't know how ad bucks are going to be priced, or ad, ad pence, ad bucks. I don't know how they're going to be priced, how they're going to be valued uh, as of yet. But the lowest denomination is like a, is an ad pence, one ad pence. We could do less denominations, I suppose, too, like, Small change. Sorry, had to sneeze. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the ad ad buck input thingy. It then comes to here, and it will uh, clear all the items in the hopper. So it will delete all the items in the hopper. Uh, it then comes to here, where it um, tests if the number of ad pens in the ATM is over 64. So the way it works, it's based on the scoreboard. Uh, if I go score, scoreboard, um, objectives, set display, uh, sidebar, and add pence. Hang on. Can I remove these two? I don't know, but we'll see. Add pence. Okay, so you can see over in the AT in in the sidebar, ATM one currently has zero add pence. Uh, we can also do add buck. ATM one has a lot of add buck because I was testing. Uh, but let's now set that display back to days. No, accident. I think it's called accident. Yes, days since last accident. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that's how it works. Uh, whenever um, a value goes in, so let's say a one add pence goes in, it will take this and it will. I just noticed a problem with it actually. Hmm, we'll come to that in a second. Whenever one add pence goes in, it will trigger this, uh, which will trigger this, which will trigger this. And it'll trigger these command blocks over here, which I can't quite get to. So what these are going to do, it's going to add one ad pence to the uh, scoreboard for ATM1. It will then um, 
do it will then set this success count the block the success the success count of this command block back down to zero so it will only pulse real quick uh, the problem is so for each of these they this one is four ad pence so it will add um, four ad pence to the score this one is 16 it will add 16 ad pence to the score the problem is uh, the way this works this checks if the score is over 64, or if it's between 64 and 64. Ah, hmm, okay. Yeah, I may need to change this up quite considerably. This checks if the score is between 64 and 64. If the score is exactly 64, it's, um... Oh, okay, that's the way I could do that. Yeah, never mind. So it checks if the score is 64. Um, if the score is 64, it resets it to 0. It resets the score to 0, and it adds one add buck to um, the the thing here. So the way these also work is they're adding add bucks to the add buck score. Uh, so that basically means there's 64 add pence in an add buck. If you hit 64 add pence, don't count the add pence anymore. Count it as one add buck. The way that works. That's the way that works. Problem is, right now, say we're at 63 um add pence and we add in a four add pence then we're going to go to 67 add pence and this won't actually trigger so this won't trigger so we'll have 67 add pence in uh but the way we can fix that i think is if we just have this trigger if it's over 64 and then reduce the score by 64 uh so you go player uh, remove add pence 64 uh, and then we'll just do that, so it'll trigger if it's over 64. Uh, we're also going to actually need a way to reset this, so I think I'm going to have a another comparator somewhere, because I need a way to reset this so it's not actually scored anymore. Uh, but anyway, that that's neither here nor there, We don't you don't need to worry about that just now. Uh, then... That, can, that is facing the wrong way, I think. Is it? Let's change that. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so then, once it's checked that, checked if it's over 64, it gets the sign over here, this sign, to refresh, essentially. It removes the sign that's currently there and places a new sign down. Uh, the new sign will display the score of the ad bucks and the score of the ad pence. So ad pence in the machine, um, 174,342 ad bucks and zero ad pence. Uh, then this block is another one that does... It sets the block here to redstone? I don't know why you exist, but I presume it's for a reason. Okay, um, I'll have to look into that. <laughs> uh, this is the start of the output, um, which I won't go into detail with, but basically, uh, these signs over here, signs can run a command if they're clicked. So these signs are going to move uh, this redstone block. So then each of these is going to be like, um, I am ready, to, or I have selected... Um, one ad pence or four ad pence, sixteen ad pence, thirty-two ad pence, ad buck, blah 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 blah, uh, which will display on this sign here. This is zero, uh, and then um, if you press the sign here to actually withdraw, uh, it will take whichever red, whichever one the redstone block is selected. It will go through some kind of AND gate and dispense through this hopper that particular value of of coin uh, but let me give you a quick demonstration of how it works if we grab a one if we if we empty my inventory a little bit okay just a little bit and we grab a one ad pence and whack this in here you can see one ad pence has increased and it's been destroyed uh, if we now put another ad pence, two ad pence, 
Uh, let's do some 32 ad pences. Let's see if we can break it real fast. Uh, but it is a trap chest as well, by the way. Just FYI. So you can put stuff in there and then kind of let go. For 34. Alright, so if we now put in another 32, that's going to take us up to 66. We're expecting to see four ad pence and an and additional ad buck. Ah! Ha ha! Look at that! Perfect! Beautiful! I think. What is it? No, yeah, that was right. It was... It was going to go to 66, so yeah, we're expecting to see two ad pens. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay, good. Uh, so yeah, I just need to do the output, um, which should be okay, and then we can work on some casino games. Uh, casino games are going to be so much more trivial than this. Uh, this is a lot of complicated nonsense going on. That's pretty much how it works. I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, let's also try, let's put these back real fast, let's get um, one single ad pence, a couple of four ad pences, and a few 16 ad pences. Let's see what happens when we just kind of throw them all in. I th think that worked. Uh, somebody's going to have to double check the math, or I'm going to have to go back and watch the video, but I think that worked. Anyway, I'm going to have to end the video here. It may be a little short, um, but I've got some stuff I have to do today. So, as always, thank you guys very much for watching, and I would, as always, I would like to thank Pickle Hosting for hosting the Patreon server. Uh, if you'd like to join the Patreon server, you can do so uh, by pledging $10 or more a month on my Patreon campaign uh, at patreon.com slash adlington. There is a link in the description to do that. Uh, you can also check out Pickle Hosting at picklehosting.com slash adlington and use the coupon code adlington, A-D-L-I-N-G, A-D-L-I-N-G, T-O-N-T, yes, that's how you spell the name. <laughs> um, coupon code adlington for, I believe, 10% off. But that is going to do it. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and I shall see you all Let's get away from this building in the next episode.